bear with me, please. It's only the second time I've been near the beach since the accident. The man who lost his daughter, his wife and sister in law in that bluff collapse in Encinitas last year is pushing to keep others safe. Dr. Pat Davis spoke to reporters atop that very bluff where the tragedy happened last August. Our tenders reporter John Horn explains why today could be a key turning point in the fight to make our beaches safer. I also just wanted to acknowledge the city of Encinitas for putting this beautiful bench uh, over here in uh, memory uh, of my wife, Julie, my daughter, Annie, and Elizabeth. Dr. Pat Davis fought back tears Friday as he stood atop the bluff that crumbled last August, killing his wife, daughter, and sister-in-law who were on the beach below. Believe you me, it'd be a lot easier to not come down here. I came down here about a week ago and for the first time in six months, and it was difficult. But Davis wanted to be in this very spot to be part of something that could help prevent such a tragedy from occurring again. He stood by as Congressman Mike Levin announced 400,000 federal dollars to begin the engineering phase of a project to help make the beaches safer. The primary purpose of this project is to stabilize tall bluffs that erode due to high energy storm swells and rising sea levels. There's still a ways to go. The project needs another roughly $1.5 million for engineering, and it's estimated to cost $30 million every five to 10 years to carry out. It's also unclear what the project will entail beyond sand replenishment. Davis says it's a start, but there's more to be done. I'd like to be able to at least say that I tried, you know, to do something Again, that $400,000, just the start of the money needed to study how this project would work. Dr. Davis again emphasizing to stay back from those bluffs when you come to the beach. In Encinitas, John Horn, 10 News. And Dr. Davis says he is pushing for four things that could help make our beaches safer. Education to train people not to go within 40 feet of those bluffs. Signage, not just warning signs, but blunt signs saying that people have died there. Close the beaches to families at high tide or when there is no safe area away from the bluffs. And finally, create 100-foot safe zones where parents know it is safe for their kids to play.